Good morning, guys. This is just a like small video for myself. This is a EDC dump for me. All my everyday carries, um, what I kind of rotate out and everything. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. Um, every single day, I carry my Ridge wallet. Little AirTag. I got this Cerakoted, um through a website. I don't think he does it anymore because I did see that his web shot, website is shut down. But um, very nifty, very minimalist. I love it. Money clip, AirTag, Ridge Wallet. Doesn't get any more simpler than that. Really great guy. RFID protected, aluminum casing all the way around. Holds up all my cards, insurance cards, all that fun stuff. Does not hold pictures. So every now and then, I switch over to my Cobra Tech little out the front knife, D2 steel. I also carry a little tour knife I believe I can't remember what this guy was called I believe it was the Viper it should have been the Viper really great EDC carry um, this is actually my wife's I carry this like probably twice so far I went ahead and gave this to my wife and went ahead and gave this to my wife uh, only because I did have a fixed blade I mean, I, I prefer fixed blade over um, spring action because sometimes, you know, they could fail and they have failed before. Fixed blades, you could just pop them out, which is why I carry my torn knives anaconda. By far, my most favorite blade. That's a little Texas engraving right there with the little star. Okay. Ring, so that way... You could just easily, whenever you need to, pull it out using your ring, uh, using your fingers at any point. And uh, sometimes, whenever you need to fire your firearm, and you want to hold your blade. You could have, you know, your, kind of your firearm right there. Pull the trigger and still hold on to your blade. That's intentionally what it was meant for. Um, if you go through the tour website, they'll actually explain that to you how to utilize it and everything. So these are the knives that I would rotate out with. But these are generally what my wife carries, but this is my everyday carry for sure. My light, Olight Arc Field. I have the UV light. Uh, my wife has the laser. I did have the laser, but I'm not going to utilize it as much. Um, UV light is pretty great for finding small bugs, finding stuff that may be a little too dirty, you know like a, my little mat is right here. <laughs> um, I also use it to help find leaks in cars, especially my wife's car since hers seem to have more trouble than mine. Magnetic base, magnetic charging base, um, a little S-clip right here so that way you could hook it on to either your pockets or you could hook this onto your hats and then you could use that as like a small little headlamp. Goes up to a thousand lumens, but if you uh, Put it to a thousand lumens, it'll probably stay on for about like two minutes and then die out. So that way it could keep itself from overheating. Really great compact line. Pretty flat based. And that was the main reason why I got it. That being said, my Shadow System CR920. I'm gonna unload this bad boy. LAS Concealment Holster, G48 Holster. Cryptic Neptune. All right, nine millimeter with a 13 plus one mag compensated. Uh, Hollow Sun HO, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Hollow Sun 507K times two red dot. Really great, really great uh, pistol. Good to carry, coat winning sights all the way around. Um, I've talked enough about this already, so I, don't, I feel like I don't have to go over it all that much, but still my favorite pistol. My go-to carry. Last but not least will be my little multi-tool. Now this is from Cot Koch Coach Tools. C K O C H is what it is. Now this is a great little tool, titanium. Um, you got a bottle opener right here. You can use like hex bits to open and close whatever you need. <laughs> um, it's a double finger knuckle. I like it, but the thing about it is that right here, 
you don't have enough like grip at the bottom to where if you do punch something it could probably like push it back down right here so i kind of had to kind of come up right here especially since these grooves on the side right here they kind of bother the other fingers right here you know and look at all that space which is good you know it's serrated at the top so that way you could get real deep into someone's um <clears throat> I'm trying to put it lightly, you know. You you could, you could this could definitely hurt someone for sure. Very light, very robust. Um, I do use it. I have a little little sling, a couple of charms on it, whatever you want to call it, beads. Um, that's what I don't like about it is how it just kind of taps on itself. Um, but pretty cool little tool. The only thing I don't like about it is how small it is at the bottom. It, it doesn't feel that secure. But that is why I have this McDaniel Knives Double Finger Knuckles. This one feels a little bit more secure. As you can see, I could get a good, better grip so that way I could push out more. Serrated at the top as well. Okay. Uh, there's a little insignia right there. McDaniel knives. Same thing with Koch. That he, his insignia is right there. This guy came with a Kydex holster, uh, about twenty-five bucks for it. I went ahead, tightened up the screws just a little bit, so that way there could be some more retention to it. I want to change these out so that way they could be um, belt clips on it. But right now you could run your belt through, and that's definitely not coming out. But it does need a little bit more work on the retention. Not bad. Not the best, but it is very much good enough. As you can see, it clicks and everything. Like I said, just just give it a little tighten and it's good. It's, it's, you're great. This guy is awesome. I'm really happy I came across this. I'd say the only difference between these two is the weight, the uh, the multi-tool aspect of this, and really I've only used the bottle opener part because I'm not gonna be like using this for um, tiny screws or anything because I do that already on my job um, and I have a tool set for it but this guy really really great G10 steel I believe I can't remember G10 D2 I can't remember grips are really nice too all handmade check them out um, check both of them out actually you know what just check them all out I'll go ahead and put the links down below in the description um, but that's really all I have for my EDC um, these are my main guys, mostly for defense, obviously, uh, my CR920. Oh, I carry um, Apple Watch Ultra and my iPhone 14 Pro Max, but that's just off to the side kind of stuff. But this is the stuff that, like, it is a necessity to have, especially whenever you're going to be carrying a firearm, for say, and due to the certain engagements you may encounter, you can either, uh, you know, de-escalate a situation, but depending on the situation, how, how far it's been, you use your knuckles. If it's a little bit more lethal, use your knife. But if it comes down to it, especially whenever you need to defend someone you love, someone you care for, your firearm. But, you know, with the way the laws are and everything, Take precautions, talk it out with people, have the necess necessary tools and the trainings as well um, for whatever scenario you, you may encounter. Because everything, it will be unexpected. Nothing works out like the movies, guys. Be safe, take care, and thank you for checking me out.